so after creating so uh, assigning supports and assigning materials to the frame will now go to the loading so you click the load tab at the left portion of the screen and let's say let's label this one first with dead load our first primary load case okay so uh, we'll assign now loads I have computed the loads in a separate spreadsheet so let's say beam 1 for dead load is 1.87 so uh, member since it's going downward so minus or negative 1.87 and that's the uniform force there are many types of force of concentrated force concentrated moments and so on mine this one will be uniform force with a value of 1.87 kilonewton per meter at global y or global y axis so global y here you see there's a y and then going downwards that's negative so then add then you have to assign that one to the beam so click that load value and then use cursor to assign then assign so that will be beam number one and that's assign then this one and that is also true with this particular beam then next will be the load for the beam number 2 that's 3.74 add 3.74 global y add and assign assign it here okay next is uh, 1.18 that's beam 3 so remember negative 1.18 add is cursor is cursor the sign so this one then next is 2.35 now oh, by the way 1.18 will also be applicable to this beam then next will be 175 and assign this one this one then last for the dead load is 3.49 and then this will go to these three beams then after that we will also include self weight or the weight of the structure itself our factor will be negative 1 and going downwards so that is y axis going downwards negative 1 we'll assign factors later then that's it for the dead load first primary case case then the next case will be live load so we'll click new load that's new primary load then we have live load okay so again we need to know the values for beam 1 1.25 1.25 1 add assign that one here and here then 2.49 then 0.78 then 
157 and then 116 and lastly 233 so we have created now the live load the dead load and the live load load cases you can also right click click labels go to load results uh, oh no scales or labels then go to you can check load values so you can check there are load values there you can also click in here to highlight which beam has this particular load values now the next thing is to combine dead load and live load cases so first we will click combine then click new then let's say this is combination live load plus dead load then you put a factor for the load let's say 1.4 but since this is still we don't have a factor we just put one there but for the sake of uh, tutorial we'll say there's a factor of 1.4 for that load then select that load and click this arrow and for live load let's say 1.7 click live load and transfer that to the other then play then click OK and that's it that's how to uh, create combination load case for stat